welcome to this episode of Consciousness with Christine. My name is Christine Dosti. I'm the CEO and founder of Sacred Vitality, and I'm here to talk to you about consciousness. Before we get started, if you have not already hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and do that so you can be notified of every new video that comes up. Okay, consciousness. Why do we care? <laughs> we care basically the... Cliff Notes version is because we all came in with certain programming and conditioning, thanks to our parents, thanks to the environment that we grew up in, thanks to early experiences that we had. And that programming will continue to run for the rest of your life unless you consciously go in there and heal it and change it. So we have the conscious self that we think is making choices and running the show, but that's actually only 5% of what's going on. And 95% of it is the rest that is caught in our body, emotions, stories, experiences, limitations that are actually motivating us and taking that past information and deciding if it is safe or unsafe and is basically pulling the strings and running the show. So if you're in a place where you're not enjoying what's going on with your life and not feeling like you're getting the most out of your human experience, if you're feeling numb or bored or turned off in some way or frustrated, then consciousness is something that can help you expand, help you connect to your higher self, help you get more out of your human experience and find more joy and love for yourself and being able to share it with other people. This is why consciousness. Um, I just want to throw a little caveat in there. There's a lot of people in my world who tell me that they're, you know, woke or already awakened or that they've done their healing. And I just want to say that when you're on this journey of consciousness, it's it's never over. You don't ever reach the finish line. Just because you've experienced an awakening doesn't mean like you're good now and it's done or just because you've had some healing doesn't mean that you're good now and it's over. We are unfolding constantly. We are evolving constantly. There's always depth and nuance and refinement. There's always other avenues to explore the idea with consciousness and the reality really is that with 30 to 50 trillion cells in your body, each one of them holding emotional programming and thoughts and beliefs, you're not going to have one healing experience or, or duration of healing over a couple of months and then be like, ah, nailed it, super enlightened right now. That's just not going to happen. Also, because we think like 60 to 90,000 thoughts a day and 1% of those thoughts are new thoughts and all the rest are same thoughts that you had the day before, chances are really good that you're bringing the past into the present, which is another reason why practicing and working with energy or consciousness, whatever word works best for you, will help you get out of that stagnation in the routine of bringing your past self into the future causing you to basically live from past to present. When we work with consciousness, we want to push into that unknown. We want to become something we've never been before. It's very scary. It triggers the ego. But that's why we're here, right? To have new experiences, to expand and grow. And if we're operating in an unconscious state, either completely or in certain areas of our lives, we're not going to be able to expand and grow and get out of our comfort zone and try to do things differently. So this is why we want to engage in consciousness practices. If the whole concept of consciousness is new to you, it's also been described as personal development, healing, energy work, inner work, shadow work. I'll drop some links below to give you other information that you can dive into. But hopefully you are here and you're curious about creating and developing more consciousness for yourself, which is amazing. So feel free to drop any comments below of any areas that you want to specifically dive into. Before I leave you today, some ways to engage in consciousness is work on boundary stuff, connect to your intuition, 
use divination tools like tarot, or oracle cards, meditate, of course, anything that helps you connect to your values and things that are of interest to you and to help you understand areas of your life that you're struggling to evolve in. And you can know that that's happening if you keep repeating patterns. Money is a perfect one. Do you keep saving your money and then something comes up that drains it all away? Do you have a hard time keeping a budget? Are you like, what even is a budget? Do you have challenging times making money or attracting it to you? And these are repetitious patterns, right? In your own relationships, is it hard to find love? Is it hard to hold on to love? Is it hard to connect with happiness and joy and vitality? Are you feeling numb? Are you feeling run down and fatigued, overwhelmed, burdened, stressed? <laughs> if any of these are like checkbox, 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 then consciousness and practicing consciousness and developing it are all tools and strategies that anyone can learn and can help you feel better as you move on with your expansion and your growth and your just general being awesomeness in your life. So check out the links below, drop me any comments, again, hit that subscribe button and join me on this journey as we go through learning how to develop consciousness. See you in the next one.